Okay, so we just got our passports checked by a soldier. We're heading into the Dora Observatory. And I, one of my the tour people, my tour friends, were saying that not just anybody can come in here, you have to be a man. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me because the loudspeaker's loud. But we're here at the Observatory, the Dora Observatory. This is where the closest that you can get to North Korea without actually going like through the DMZ to get there. So we just learned we just learned quite a bit about North Korea. So there's this big city over here that um, I think it's called Kaesung City. And uh, they have like these, it's just a really like sad town. They've got um, big buildings that are 40 stories high and there's no elevators, there's no electricity, like so the people, the residents that live in there, um, they have to walk up and down the stairs. There's also no windows, like that's incredibly sad. This is just like, it's so, um, I don't know if somber is the right word, but it's like, anyway, so we're here at the observatory. There's North Korea right You can see right there, there's the road. I think that's a road that you can take into North Korea. There is a factory that North Korea and South Korea used to work on together, and then uh, that stopped last year, and the road's been uh, blocked off. I mean, the scenery is beautiful, but you can feel like there's like tension in the air because the war's technically not over. Anyway, it's just amazing. So once this project is completed, and when you come back next year, there will be a party here. Oh. 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 Like, we should like to give big credit to the gentleman yes. and the Paju City personnel. We're in the old U.S. military base, Camp House. Camp House, which was given back to Korea by the Americans in 2013. In 2013. And they are making the space a park and dedicating it to adoptees. So we were just told that adoptees can feel like Paju is their hometown and they're welcoming us home. So that's a uh, that's amazing that we are being welcomed. And before this trip, I just thought that Korea was cold, and we'd already been rejected from one or once from this country, and now we've seen and met so many that are welcoming us back and helping us continue our journey. Oh my gosh, it is hot! It is hot, guys. Okay. Anyway, we're walking and we're going back to the bus to our next stop. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so we are, <laughs> we just left the park and now we're at lunch with our Paju uh, city officials. So this is our lunch. So we got some noodles and panchan and this is rice. Spoon and chopsticks. Oh, this is the Anyway, we're gonna have lunch and then 
Yeah. Putting it in this. Because you don't really need to cook that too much. So this is the bogey stew. Oh, that's a better picture. Mushrooms, carrots. And this smells super, super good. I think it's a Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 